Okay, hey. What's up with it? Bell Garden's mayor died? Wow. I didn't know anything about this shit. Says shot her husband in self-defense. Oh my God. Okay, I remember that. Daniel family upset with plea deal. I remember when she, this, um, the mayor of Bell, her, the wife had killed her husband, right? And he was having an affair and shit. And, um, he had came home and that motherfucker had, uh, it was a woman or something in her house. Something had happened. It was something in reference to another woman. And she ended up killing her motherfucking husband. And I guess they gave that bitch time served. New plea deal reached. Wow. I guess they gave that bitch time served. And she only been in there for not that long. But they, she was saying that it was self-defense. Because she was saying that you know, her husband had been whooping that ass for a minute now. And you know, and then plus he trying to have an affair going on and shit too. She said, I snapped shit. So, anyway, um, I came on this time because I know it went out on the last time. And um, so, I guess this is just pretty much conclusion because I'm not getting ready to do this all again, again. You know what I'm saying? So, I need to calm this shit down and close this shit off. But I know that I haven't been on here in so long. Y'all don't know what the fuck is going on with me. I just fell off like, damn, auntie, you said you was going to do all this, this, and this. and then, But shit happened, you know. I've been going through this relationship thing, and it's been, you know, I'm just like, you know, trying to get my bearings because I'm not accustomed to this type of man, this type of relationship, this type of feel. I'm in a whole new different get down, so I'm just trying to ride this. I'm just trying to ride this shit out. I thought I heard some shit. I'm just trying to ride this shit out, and I'm having fun with it, you know. And then, too... Um, you know, still trying to be mama and take care of my home front and still trying to take care of business. It's just, you know, and then too, another thing, um, it's that time of the year for me in November. It's kind of a, a downer to a degree. I lost both of my parents in November and right before Thanksgiving. And so every year it's like, you know, it's just kind of does something to me, you know, because of my family dynamic. So you know, so I deal with that too. So I just want to let you guys know that I'm really good. I'm good. I'm just, you know, I've been hanging out with my baby and shit. Um, we went over there to go pick the car up. Let me get back on that. We went over there to pick the car up and the guy was like, you know, um, saying that uh, that coolant that Pet Boys had put in there, because Pet Boys had topped it off and had, um, uh, they had topped off the coolant when they had checked it and all that stuff. And they put the wrong coolant in there, so I have to go, and um, and they wrote it all up, so I need to take the car back to Pet Boys. And now they, um, the Jaguar place is saying that they recommend a full um, radiator and coolant flush or whatever um, now to get all of that wrong coolant out of there because it's supposed to be extended life orange or something they were saying, and the coolant that Pet Boys put in there was yellow. And so they was like, you know, nah, that needs to be removed up out of there because that's the wrong shit, so... I'm going to go in and after I drop Anthony off, I'm going to go over there and go take care of that too and go and tell them what these motherfuckers said. So in case I need to have an appointment because I want to come in when you say and um, then therefore, you know, and I, you know, leave at a decent hour, you know. So I'm going to go over there and take the paperwork over there to them in a minute. Um, but yeah, so I was sitting up here and I was going through, you know, my bag, you know, removing my stuff from my bag. And girls, let me show you what my baby did. Check this out. This motherfucker straight gave me half the money to fix my car. He gave me straight half. Because the thing is, okay. All weekend, because when, when we're together, we're spending money all the time. We're spending money, spending money, spending money. And I never have to spend, I never have to open my wallet a lot of time. You know, like, like we went to Krispy Kreme's and I bought some donuts. But he was like, damn, babe, I feel kind of funny with you buying that. But, you know, it was like, but I don't really spend much money. And so yesterday when it was time to go get the car, you know, he was like, well, what you need me to do? And I guess as a man, I guess he felt like, you know, damn, baby, you finna go to the bank and just take out $700. 
you know, and as your man, I feel as though I need to be doing something, you know, you know, to help you help facilitate this. And I was like, you know, I was like, baby, I got to get the car fixed. I got to, I had to do that anyway, whether I was going to be with you or not. I mean, I respect, I respect that. And, you know, I love it. I appreciate that about you, you know, and everything. But, uh, but I was going to have to do what I was going to have to do anyway. I keep looking over there because the news is on. They showing all kinds of shit going on. And I ain't, I ain't been, I ain't watched TV. The motherfucker ain't, I said, damn, can I at least do my regular shit while I'm with you? So I'm trying to catch up on the motherfucking news and whereas I'm seeing shit going on on the news now that I'm like, like my motherfucking ass been in Bangkok some motherfucking where I'm like, damn, I ain't seen shit about what's going on. I've been, I've been, nigga, I've been blown back on some of the shit that's been going on on the news right now. Like, damn, you know? So, cause I ain't been able to watch no motherfucking TV hardly. Not no this right here, nigga. We've been watching all kind of movies and shit. You know, so it's like I ain't seen shit on the news on what the fuck going on on the news or none of that old type of shit. So, anyway, so when we went to go, we went to the bank, and um, when I got to the bank, cause we had, cause I said, well, when I pick up the car, I'm gonna just go straight home. I'm gonna just get on the freeway. He was like, well, how come you just can't stay? Oh, the traffic is gonna be bad and. Yada, 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 you don't have to get Anthony until 10 o'clock, so how come you just can't stay and leave about 7, you know, 7 or 8, you know, and, 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 you know, we can, we can go get some dinner, let's go get some fish, and I was like, no, I need to go home, 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 so, but in the midst of it all, when we got to the bank, my wallet wasn't in my, um, never full. My never full is what I've been carrying. And so that's this. For those of you guys that don't know what never full is. That's this. This is my never full. And so, but. And this is my everyday wallet. I carry my everyday wallet even if, you know, this is my go-to. Like right now, I don't carry a wallet most times. I just carry this. And I just... Jets out with this right here. This is all of what I need right here. And I'll be gone. This motherfucker's thick as hell. What's all in here? Reason why it's so goddamn thick. Need to take some of these receipts out of here, but it's thick as hell. But yeah, so anyway. So we get to the bank and when we got there, I was like, Where's my wallet? And so I looked in my purse and I was like, Damn, I can't find my wallet. You know, he was just sitting in a car like, you know, and I'm like, I hope this man don't think you know, I'm trying to play a game with him. Like, I'm trying to get up here and be like, oh, well, can you give me two or $300 to get my car fixed? You know, I, you know, this is what I'm saying to myself. I don't know what he was thinking, but what I was saying to myself because, you know, he had looked in the, um, in this bag to see if, you know, it was in there and he didn't see it either. And I didn't see it there. And he was like, well, I didn't see it in the room. I didn't see it on the table or nothing like that. He was like, it got to be in something, baby. I don't know what happened. So he was like, okay, well, then I'll go back home and I'll, I'll go upstairs and go see if it's up in the room somewhere. So we go back to his house and I'm sitting in the car and I'm like, wow, you know, at this point in time, I'm going through um, my never full, like I'm going through everything because I had all kind of stuff in there. So I was like, you know, where is my motherfucking wallet? And I'm looking all up under the seats and stuff because when we went to... um. Uh, the bowling alley, we was in his truck because the car was in the shop. So I'm like, okay. So I'm looking up under the seats. Did I leave it in the truck last night? Like, where's my wallet? So he comes back down. And um, so he was like, he started taking everything out of the uh, out of the, my uh, luggage. And so he was like, baby, it's in here. And I was like, oh. He said, oh, well, I, uh, my bad. I threw it in there. And I was like, oh, well, when did you throw it in there? He said, I threw it in there last night. But I thought that... Um, you know, because I was, you know, when we was getting ready to go get some fish, I was like, where's my wallet, you know? Because I like to at least take some ID with me when at least when I leave. But he's like, okay, well, I'm a, I'm a man. You with me. What do you need your wallet for? So he was like, well, I threw your wallet in the bag because you was trying to take your wallet. Like, what, what, what? I'm like, wow, like, shit that I'm just accustomed to, I'm just not, you know, I don't know. It's, it's a trip. So, he had threw my wallet in my luggage bag the previous night because when we were getting ready to leave to go get some fish, I didn't know we was going to the bowling alley. I'm just thinking we're going to get some fish. 
But still, I, I was like, okay, well, let me get him to use the bathroom and all that other kind of shit. I go to the bathroom, this motherfucker's still right. I'm like, wow, man. I mean, just some way out shit. Like, can I brush my teeth? Like, you know, I'm brushing my teeth. Well, I'm going to brush mine too. I got up the other morning and I was like, okay, um, you know, we laying in the bed and shit. We put one up, you know. This motherfucking dick decided to get hard. I was like, oh, shit. I was like, okay, here we go. Because this motherfucker right here is like, that's why I was saying. I guess that's what kind of threw me off. Because I was going to say this right here, but it kind of threw me off in the last video. And it was like, well, damn, I feel like I'll be in a fight. Because this motherfucker be all over my motherfucking head. I mean, literally all over me. All over me. Like, damn. Like, I literally all over my motherfucking ass. Like, really though. So, I was like, damn, my, my shit has been sore and... My legs has been sore and shit. Motherfucking ass been getting a cramp and all kinds of shit. So, I found out that Vaseline is good for the soreness. I didn't know that. So, we tried that the other night. And I was like, the next couple, couple hours after that, I was like, oh my God, I feel much better. It's like, it's soothing. Anyway, I was like, getting up to go. Because we was, you know, we was laying across the bed. And I was like, well, let me go use the bathroom. So when I, I, he was like, you got to go use the bathroom. I was like, yeah, let me get up and go use the bathroom. I've been in the bed all night. You come up here with some donuts and some ham. You know, I just cannot go pee. Like, I ain't got up yet. I've been in bed all, all night long. I didn't pee last night. I've been holding my pee since last night. I got to pee now. And now you're laying on top of me. My bladder is now full. Nigga, I got to go pee right now. Can you get up so I can go pee? I get up. But I, but I get up and I have my little, um... I have a carrier, a carrier thing that I take to the bathroom with me when I get ready to take my shower and stuff. And, it, and it, it's like a roll up. It rolls out. And it has like all these different compartments where like you can put your toothbrush and your this and your this, your soap and your this and your oils and all this kind of stuff in it. So I grab that. He get up out of the bed. Well, why are you taking this for? I'm like, what do you mean? He was like, well, you said you just had to go to the bathroom. I said, yeah. He was like, but what are you taking this for? I was like, well, damn. Well, since I'm going to do that, I might as well go ahead and take me a shower. Damn, we all right. You know what I mean? Let me, okay, can I take me a shower now? What? This motherfucker was like, no, you don't need to take no shower. What do you need to do all that shit for? Y'all, I got me a real one. <laughs> I got I me mean, a real one. Lordy, lordy, lordy. I'm not accustomed like a motherfucker, nigga. This is that 4K shit. This is like some other shit that I'm like, my auntie said, nah, you just dealing with a fool. I said, is that what it is, auntie? She said, my auntie said, shit, that motherfucker crazy. I said, oh, shit. Is this that 5150 shit? This is my baby on that Kanye. She was like, got knees. Shit. You better not take your motherfucker down there in no goddamn Grand Canyon with this motherfucker to you. Really, shit, give it some time on that shit. You better take your motherfucker down somewhere else. Y'all motherfucker better go on down in the David bus or some goddamn where or some shit. Huh? Y'all motherfuckers better go on down in the city walk some goddamn way. Fuck that Grand Cayman shit. That, I mean, that Grand Canyon shit. You don't know what the fuck. Shit, I said, oh, my auntie. My auntie fucked me up with it. Because we was all in. We was like, okay, we're going to go to the Grand Canyon. Baby was like, okay. You know, he was all wanting to know what's all on my bucket list. You know, and I'm telling him different things on my bucket list. And, you know, I'm afraid of heights. But I always wanted to see the Grand Cayman. I wanted to see a lot of uh, Grand Cayman. I don't keep thinking Grand Cayman Islands. I don't know why. I guess because we was talking about that shit too. And he was like, well, we need to go. We we, we, need, to, we need to go. Do, we need to take a trip. And we need I said, okay. All right. We're we, we going to go. No problem. But uh, first he wanted to do this um, uh, uh, Grand Cayman. So I was like, okay, then let's go. But I be damned. Lo and behold, I talked to my auntie. The car went through this. My auntie told me this morning, wasn't that shit a sign? I told you that motherfucking shit was a sign. I told you don't take your motherfucking ass down to the Grand Canyon. God looking out. You don't need to be going down there. I said, oh my God. My auntie is all in. Now you see my shit is still on vibrate right now. He done call. My auntie done call. Tony done text. Um, yeah. My shit has been ringing off like a motherfucker. And then plus I put on Facebook, girls, we need to talk. Can I? Can we talk? Yeah. So y'all been commenting on that shit too. Like, okay, well, auntie, what's going on? So I had to come in because Shannon called, you know, and all that. And I was like, okay, let me affirm y'all and, you know, reassure y'all that I'm good. I'm straight. You know what I mean? Everything is everything. I'm just dealing with this motherfucker I got. You know what I mean? This motherfucker cutting me close. Like, damn. 
oh my God, like for real. So I don't know what this is. I'm in something new right now. You know what I mean? I'm in something new right now. I'm having fun with it, but I just don't want this shit to get out of hand. Trust me, I'm paying attention, okay? I'm very alert. I'm seeing what's going on. I'm looking. My auntie like, do you see what I said? Auntie, I see it, shit. I see it. I ain't no goddamn fool now, shit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get this motherfucking way through osmosis now, you know? I mean, everything that I done went through made me the woman that I am today. I'm far from a goddamn fool. If I was a fool, I wouldn't have the shit I have. Okay, so let's just be clear on that. Well, the devil take care of his kind, too. I say, well, auntie, come on now, shit. Yeah. My auntie, I say something, she say something. I say something, she say something. I'm like, damn. So, anyway, this is over with, with it. I just wanted to come in and, and, and cancel it all out and shit. I know the camera keep going out and all that shit for Christmas. I want to get me a little camera that, you know, what's the upgrade from Flip? Because I need a little point-and-shoot camera. I need one that I can just do this like this right here. And it got an app to it. Whereas when I put it up to the thing and everything come on like I flip do it. I need y'all to tell me what kind do that. I don't because I got the Canon and all that shit. But that shit is too complex for me. I need something that's little. That I can just do this right here. To make it easy for me. Whereas I can still walk around and talk and all that other shit like we used to do. You know what I mean? But I don't need nothing all flamboyant and all that. Okay, well you put the zoom lens on it. I don't want all that bullshit. That's too much time for me. I, I I need some regular shit. You know, I need to keep my shit organic where I can come on here, talk like how I'm doing this right here, nigga, and all, fuck all the extra shit. I can't do it that way. If I have to do it that way, okay, you got to have subtitles, and you got to have this, and you got to click this to the side, and it's going to come in on another video. I I don't know how to do that. You know what I mean? It ain't no sense of me bullshitting with it. That, that ain't my thing. That ain't my tilt. I don't know how to do it. You know, let me just say it. And it's overwhelming for me. So, I ain't got, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't this it ain't my thing. So, but yeah, y'all tell me what the new little camera is that they got out. I know they came out with one one time before. Because I have that Hero, the white underwater camera. I got that. I still ain't never used that though. So, I don't know. Would that be the equivalent? I don't know. Because I, cause I ain't never used it. It's still in the packet and everything. I was supposed to use it outside with my swan and all swimming and all that shit. Didn't do none of that. So, I, I, that's still in the package. I don't know what the fuck about that. They got about two or three new different editions now since the one I done had. But, um, but I need a camera, okay? So, and I need a cute little one, a little something other that do everything, point and shoot. And then you hook it up to your computer, everything come in. And, you know, like how Flip is. I know somebody got to have one out. Fuji or some damn body. I need y'all to tell me. So then therefore, we can keep this party rolling and we can keep it cool and calm and collected on how, how I like to do it. You know, some peanut butter and jelly shit. I don't need no, okay, well, you snap that onto that and you hold this up or that this way. Nah, fuck that. Okay, I, I ain't that good with it. Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia. You motherfucking, you motherfucking, uh, nigga. These motherfucking tornadoes and shit done hit these motherfucking man. I ain't, I ain't been seeing the news, so let me catch up on what's going on right now. And anyway, but y'all caught up. Um, I shall come on and catch you guys up. I can't make commitments that I'm going to be on here every day. I want to do that. I really, really do. So just don't hold me to it. I'll do spurts of this and that. You know what I mean? I'll do spurts of that and this. I'm trying to, but I got so much. Y'all don't even understand. I got my hands and so much shit going on. You know what I mean? I got my hands in a lot of shit going on. You know what I mean? I'm a behind the scenes motherfucker. And and, and you know, and it's it's what it is and I, I'm just man. You know, so sometimes I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be on YouTube. Sometimes I'm not gonna be on Facebook regularly or, or updating my Instagram and them, you know, regularly and shit. But just know that I'm okay. You know, I, I will come in and let you guys know that I'm good and that everything is everything, you know what I mean? So, but, you know, don't worry about me too tough. I know y'all do. Y'all got some praying warriors. Like, y'all really be holding me down and shit and be praying for my family and shit. Y'all motherfuckers reached out during the holiday time and shit. Happy Thanksgiving, this right here, Turkey Day, that. You know what I mean? Y'all motherfuckers was really sending me some shit like, Auntie, is you all right? Like, what's going on? I really felt it, like, on some real shit. I mean, it was some cool shit. I was like, man, yeah, it was cool. But, um... I'm good. Everything is everything. Just over here minding my own motherfucking business, taking care of my kids, dealing with this nigga I know. You know what I mean? And um, trying to grow and, and keep going. That's it. 
you know. Um, it's twelve twenty now. I'm going to uh, take my baby on, take my shit off of what you call it, and answer these calls on who's calling me. My auntie probably called me back. Like, what else was that you was going to say that nigga did? I need to hear the rest of it. Because I need to tell you about this nigga here. I met one of them niggas back in the 79. I said, oh, shit. My auntie, she going to tell me about how we, uh, what shit. I, I met one of them niggas right there off of goddamn Figueroa back in the 80s. Yeah. My auntie going to give me her whole spin on it. I already know it, so I'm just, I'm just, I'm just waiting. Uh, uh-huh. You ready, baby? Yeah. All right. So my son is ready, and I'm out of this out of this piece. I love you guys. Love you guys for watching, and I'm gone. Deuces. Holla. Bye.